Hello everyone. We'll now see a question of UC 2021 paper. So let's see what is saying. Chinu was excited about the new year when she bought a new calendar to keep on her study table. While playing, her baby sister poked a hole through the entire calendar from January through December as seen in the image. If every page has same five big table structure for each month and if all the consecutive months were printed back to back, which date in the month of April has a hole on it? So it's an interesting question, isn't it? So what are they saying is they have given you two views of the calendar as in the image. Now Chino's sister has painted a hole through it and we need to find in the month of March, or sorry, in the month of April, which date is going to have a hole on it. So first what you need to check over here is these calendars are printed back to back, right? So if say this side is January, February will be on the back side. So accordingly, we'll have to find April will fall onto which side. So general assumption, see, there are 12 months in a year, correct? So if January is on the top, February is going to be on the back. Then if we go with March and then it is April. So definitely April will be on the back side. And now if we go logically, alternatively months, that is Jan, then we have March, then we'll have May. Likewise, alternate month is going to come on the top face of the calendar and the other months, that is we can go with March, we can go with April, these guys are going to come on the back side. So definitely, if we go in, the top face will have the last month coming on to it as November and the back face is going to get December on the top, which is why the calendar that we are supposed to compare of April will have to compare it with the calendar of December. Got it? So we have to keep in the second view in mind while getting our answer. So now this is understood. Next point is now figuring out on what date will 1st of April lie because that is how well good to know now whether it is starting on Sunday or it is starting on Monday. So for doing that we can do one thing is we can use the concept of odd days. What are odd days? Odd days are found out by the total number of days which you have you divide them by 7 and the remainder that you will get will be the odd days. You get it? And as many odd days you have, that many days ahead your day is going to go off. Got my point? So likewise, now check. In January, we know 31st is on Wednesday. So let's find out on what day will 1st of April of 2024 lie. Got my point? We know that 31st of January 2024, it's lying on Wednesday. Let's find what day will 1st of April 2024 lie. So for doing that, we'll have to consider the month of February. Then we'll have to consider March and then April. So check in February, it is 2024. So it's a leap year. Leap year, February will have how many days? It's going to have 20 9. Now if I divide 29 by 7 in order to find what? The odd days. How many odd days do I get? I get the odd day to be 1. Similarly in March. March has how many days? March is 31 days. 31 divided by 7. That would give me a remainder of 3. And for April we need to find what is 1st of April. So we'll have to take that 1 as it is. So the total number of odd days that I'm having are 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5. Which means our 1st of April 2024 is going to lie after five days after Wednesday. So let's count after Wednesday we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. The day on which we are ending our calculation should be the answer. So that means 1st of April 2024 it's gonna lie on Monday. Now compare 1st of December on what day is it lying? 1st of December is lying on Sunday. Now, if my calendar of December and April is same, the only change is what? The first of each of the month is different. First of December is Sunday and we know first of April 2024 is a Monday, which means can't I not see this entire calendar is just going to shift by one day. Got my point? Now, let's figure out where is the whole pointing. In December, the whole is on date of 17. So, if I'm going to shift my December's calendar by just one day, 
So like first will come on Monday, second will come on Tuesday, then on Wednesday. Likewise, I can simply say my calendar will shift by 1, which means the whole which is right now on 17th for December, that would shift on, the 16 will shift on over here. And 16th of April will be the date on which the whole is going to pass on in the calendar of April. Got my point? So the answer is 16th of April 2024. Alright guys, thank you.